Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael and in today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to use a social login with a login page in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So this is version 16 of course, and I already have a login page um, designed here just to save time. So I have a login page, I have a sign up page, I have a password recovery page, edit profile page, change password, um, logged out, account page, administrator, and so on. Now. To be able to achieve this or accomplish this, there are a couple of things that you need. So the first one is the kind of social um, login you'd want to use. So when you come to the social login, let me just get rid of this. Let me come in here and search for social login and then draw in a canvas here. So once you bring this in here, um, let me just squeeze this a little bit. So this is login with Facebook. So if that is what you want, uh, we'll take a look at that. For this particular tutorial, that is basically what you're going to look at, how to use the um, login with Facebook option. But if you would want to use something different, that is um, being it Google, Instagram, LinkedIn, Spotify, and so on, that will be in different videos. But for this um, particular video, we are looking at how to go about this using Facebook. So I already have my button brought here. And once you come or you open the, um, you double click and open the properties of the button, you realize there are a couple of things you need to fill in here to configure it. So um, some of these has to do with a database, a MySQL database, as well as um, some information you need from Facebook to be able to do this. So uh, to start with, uh, already I already have a database created on my server. So I'm going to be doing this on my server. Um, I'm going to provide all those details over here. But for this particular tutorial, um, you see the details, but once I'm done with this tutorial, I'm going to have every information I provide here deleted. I just want to test it so that you get to see how this works. So I'm going to go ahead to provide this information here. Um, let me just paste that here. So that is going to be um, database server. And then let me get the database name here. And so this is my database name. It's same for the username. And then the um, table is login. And then the password is login at one, two, three. So that is all um, for my database. Now, I already have this information populated on my login form. Um, no, I think I've done that for my sign up. So let me just do the same for my login form as well. So let me come in here and um, let me just provide a database name the um, username, the table name, which is login, and then password is login at one, two, three, and then my server, which is here. Let me provide that here. So that's just about it for this. I'll go ahead and then click on OK. Now I'll have to do this for the page that is account page. That's the page that you log into. So um, this is also going to be the same for this section. Uh, let me just make sure I have this uh, properly configured. So let me come back to the sign up page and be sure I have this done. So, okay, so I already have this um, done here. Let me not, uh, let me just come to the administrator page also. I haven't done that for this. So let me just go ahead and then do it for this as well. So I'm changing this to MySQL. The server is going to be this, and then the database name is going to be um, this. The username is going to be this. My table is going to be login, and then my password is going to be login at one, two, three. I'll go ahead and then click on OK. So I'll just use this to probably uh, maybe create an account so it's easier. Or I can just use the sign up. So I go ahead and then use Facebook to sign up for an account. And I'll come back to my login where we have um, login with um, Facebook. Uh, let me just copy this and I have it on my sign up page also so that whichever page I'm on, it's easier to, you know, Go ahead to use that so i have that here as well now let me come back here and then take a look at the sign up um, that's the social login information you're going to need so we need some facebook information which is um here so we'll need a key as well as we need a secret key so um the key is um, simply um the app id as well as um, we will have a secret key generated for that so i'm going to head over to um developers.facebook.com forward slash um, apps you would have to be logged into your facebook account to be able to do this now once you are landed on this page go ahead and then create app so you click on create app and then you have a couple of options over here so you have manage business integration um, build or connect to game build connect um, connected experience so this is what i'm going to use because it says 
connect consumer products like Facebook login to your app to create convenient and secure experiences. So I'll go ahead and then check on this and then click on continue. So I have to give my app a name. So let me just say social um, login. So that's the name of my app. I don't have to do anything more here. Let me just go ahead and hit on create app. So it is going to prevent uh, present me with a, um, that uh, uh, recapture here. So I need to, you know, um, check this to make sure I'm not a robot and then submit it. So once I'm done, the app is going to be created. So once the app is created, there are a couple of things I'll need to do over here. So let me just come to, um, let me look for what I need. So I need social, that is Facebook login. So that is what I want to set up for this particular app. So I go ahead and I hit on set up. So once I click on set up, it's going to provide me with a section and I have to provide some few details. So in this case, I'm going to do this for web. So I'll click on web. And then I'll specify the URL of my site or, or my um, domain. That is where the social login is going to be. So in this case, it's going to be at a demo location. So let me just do type in that. And this is demo.dapsenishmail.com forward slash login forward slash user account forward slash login dot uh, Oh, okay. I, I, I don't even have to provide all this information. Let me just um, leave this. Let me make it demo.dapsenishmo.com. That is just fine for now. And then I just hit on save. So that is done. Now, once I'm done with this, uh, there's no need to do anything more here. Just come to your left hand section and then click on settings. So when you come to settings, um, you need to provide some information here. So at this particular section, you need to provide the exact URL of where the login page is going to be. Um, so in my case, I already have that here. Now, let me just show you something. So this is what you actually need. So this is the URL path. Um, so you have my website.com. So that is your website. And then the path that is for slash the path where you have the social login. Um, that is the op option on your domain. So in my case, I already have the path generated. So I'm just going to copy that in here. You go ahead to replace um, whatever I have in here with yours. So just as you saw earlier, table.snapsnishmo.com for a slash login for a slash user account and then for a slash login.php. So I can click on enter to have this. And because I have this on that time, the user account is the main directory on that particular um, section. And I also have this for sign up in case I might want to do this for sign up. So I just add, maybe let me just do that. So sign up, sign up. Let me just be sure if there isn't any form of hyphen. So, okay. So sign up dot PHP. Uh, let me come back in here. So I have sign up for dot PHP that is done. And let me add one more because I want to be able to list the main, um, that is the sub directory over here. So let me just, um, leave it as this. Okay. So that's my, yeah. So I have it for this as well. And then what I'm going to do next is let me just go ahead and then hit on save changes. So once I hit on save changes, I'm done with my configuration over here, but there's one more thing I need to do over here. So, um, when I come back here, I need to go to the settings section and then go to the basic, um, settings. So this is where I'm going to be able to generate my, um, that is my, app secret. So this is my app secret actually, which has been generated. So I'm going to blend this out. Uh, well, I'm even going to delete this, um, you know, app once I'm done with this particular tutorial. This is just for you to see how this is done. So I'm going to show this and then I'm going to copy the code I have in over here because I'm going to need this on my, um, you know, um, visual web builder project. So I'll come to my Wizard Web Builder project and this time around, I'll put in the secrets here and then let me come back and copy the app ID as well. So this is the app ID. I'll copy that as well. And then I'll put that in here. So the app ID is the same as the key. And then I already have an error page. So let me just go ahead and then select the error page. So you can have login error for this particular section. And the user role is basically just going to be the member or guest. So that is all I need to do to configure this particular um, Facebook or um, login with Facebook option. 
So I'll go ahead and then click on OK. Uh, before then, let me just select my destination page, which is going to be account page. And then I'll go ahead and then, um, click on that is OK. And then um, let me just copy this so I can bring it to my sign up section because I already have it, you know, um, populated with all the information I need. So let me save this and then publish this to my local host first. That is where I'm actually going to, you know, um, have it, you know, published to my domain. So I'm going to first of all, publish it to my local host. And then, yeah, so that is done. I'm going to open my FileZilla. I already have this login over here. So let me just refresh this section. Uh, and then I'm going to replace whatever I have in here with my new um, information that I have, um, you know, um, created. So this is going to take some time to upload everything. And once everything is uploaded, then I'll go ahead to test the page and see if it is going to work. So this is going to take some few seconds. I'm going to have this post. Once it's done, then we continue from there. So the upload is done. Uh, let me just uh, minimize this. And then what I'm going to do next is open a browser and then I'm going to type in the URL. So this is going to be demo.dapsonhml.com forward slash login forward slash um, that is user account and then forward slash login.php. So that is what I need to um, provide in there. Then I'll go ahead and hit on enter. So I am on my uh, page. It looks like something might be wrong here. I'm not so sure why this is looking this way. But let me just go ahead and um, go to the sign up page and see. Okay, so this looks all right. It looks like there's a problem with the login page. Maybe it wasn't properly uploaded, but let me just continue to the sign up page. And then this time around, I'm going to hit on login with Facebook. So, okay, says so error notice. Let me just come to my, um, that is login section and then do login with Facebook from here. It looks like there's a problem somewhere. So let me try as much as possible to be able to um, debug what the issue is. So let me come in here. And um, so let me make sure I have my database name. So I have my password, my server, my table, the username, which is this. Uh, okay, so that's that. And then the destination page is going to be, um, this should be administrators, not an account page instead. So that's the error I have in there. And then um, this is for this, this is for this, and uh, user role is member. And let me click on OK. Let me save and publish this once more. So. Let me get rid of everything I have in here. And um, let me do same for my domain. And then let me come back in here and then publish this once more. So I'm going to publish everything. And um, so it's going to take some few seconds to have this deleted. Once it's done deleting, then I'm going to re-upload it. So let me just refresh, uh, make sure I have this over here. All right, so I already have this here. So. I'm going to wait for some few seconds. Once that is done, I'll re-upload this and then try it out again. Okay, so it's done deleting. I'm going to re-upload this. And of course, I'm going to have this post. Once it's done, then I'm going to go ahead to take it from there. So the upload is done. Let me just come back to my browser and um, refresh this page and see if it is going to load properly. So looks like I might have to clear my history. Let me just do that and uh, continue from there. I'm going to continue back to this particular page. Uh, I still have issues. Let me just try this this time around and see if it's going to work. So I'm trying to log in with Facebook and okay. So I should have a pop up. All right. So it says continue as steps national. So this works. So in case you try this and it's not working, it's actually going to give you an error um, that is going to show you that it's not working. So um, this it says, okay, I'm actually taking to the page I want to be taking. It's just that this has to do with a database problem. It says, um, login doesn't exist. So maybe I might just have to check that, but this actually works. So being able to log in with, um, Facebook, that is just about it for this tutorial. I'll go ahead and then take a look at how to go about Google as well as LinkedIn and the other options available in there. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.